Amazon forest refugees, shelters and centers for victims of degeneration, invasion and droughts and PDB action plan. Shelters for victim Amazon Amerindians and other victim inhabitants of the Amazon forest. Why shelters and who needs them? When threats to existence and to quality of life are not solved, more victims of all kinds of calamities, and in general of the perfect storm that includes climate challenges, and more migrations will arise, and more shelters, safe havens for refugees, must be prepared, PDB proposes itself conditionally as one of these shelters. The Amazon Amarin forest itself and the Amazon Amerindians are kind of one thing, and both are chronically, systematically and perhaps in cases deliberately threatened in their existence, this for centuries and possibly much longer. Since the Amazon region is an unusual environment and the lifestyle of the Amerinds is unusual too, we non-Amerindians possibly do not recognize, and possibly do not want to see the threats and loss of quality of life that threatens the Amerindians and the forest alike. Non-Amerindians do not recognize the important role the Amazon Amerinds played during its formation in the deep past, and to a much lesser extent still play today or could play to the full in the future protecting the Amazon forest, global climate and the existence of all humans. The Amazon region is very rich in many globally sought-after resources. Our lifestyles are without doubt materialistic, this whether someone is vegetarian or not, so if nothing changes our system we will go on being greedy, grabbing and not having any practical mercy humanity towards Amerindians and the Amazon forest. Our behavior is not so different from what motivated Hitler in the past and several others today. Hitler had no mercy with Jews but also did not have mercy with the rest of the world and encouraged his militants to go after Lebensraum a, eh, which is nothing more than a nice wording for going to war, taking it from the world by war. It most probably also is what Putin is doing, and at least in part and in a way what the United Nations is doing, which is a claim of Putin. So we are at risk of heading to a World War III that inevitably will dwarf World War II and I. Today the two parties or axes already are much more extensive areas than what was the case during both former world wars. The difference between these wars and the Amazon forest is that the latter will be grabbed and destroyed more subtly and in a way more difficult for us to see and to point out. Simultaneously with this probable destruction of the Amazon forest and its climate benefits, the Amerindians will be genocide. We of the PDB think tank claim that the destruction of the Amazon forest and the Amazon Amerindians is a marker for the extinction of us, 8 billion non-Amerindian humans. All modern humans would be guilty or responsible for this. As an extreme example of this claim we will look at and compare vegans and meat eaters. Consensus, as most vegans, thinks and claims that vegans do not destroy so much, or at least do their part. In theory this claim is correct for now, but we will argue that in reality vegans also destroy and in cases destroy more than non-vegans. Some or many vegans insist in blaming the so-called meat eaters for almost all of the kind of destruction these vegans recognize this especially so in the case of the Amazon forest and maybe also in the case of the Amazon Amarins. But vegans do not consider all the forms of destruction that are going on, and certainly not their own part in all the forms of destruction that are going on. Vegans are not part of the problem but rather part of the solution. If vegans, vegetarians and the young people in general, would consume food and materials from enriched agroforests, they would indeed not be part of the problem, they would be part of the solution instead, just as most of them most probably already assume. But they, just as all others, do not recognize yet the potential of enriched agroforests or ADE agroforests, because good information is not yet available, also because its many benefits are not fully recognized. Because vegans assume they are not a significant part of the problem and also because they do not recognize the benefits of ADE agroforests, also they do not look for or do not believe in any further solution, nor have or practice any concrete action plan that would involve ADE agroforests, even while they recognize the obvious that things are not going well, for global climate, Amazon forest, etc. The vegans just go on being vegan and eventually are active in blaming others, which is not an action plan and obviously will not work nor solve. Calling on others to solve the problems or meet criteria is not an action plan. If what was already done would contain any kind of an action plan, then we can safely conclude that it does not work. We claim that as long as also vegans, etc., and activists do not recognize ADE agroforests or of what past actions, ADE agroforest practices, the Amazon forest is the result of, nothing will happen and disasters will go on to increase in frequency and severity, until extinction independent of when that will be. Forests tell us and we should not demand. 
We involved and commented on vegans not because we think they would be more responsible than others for things that are not going well, like the climate, but rather because they are a group that exists of a younger and possibly more academic public which spend more time on gathering information and most probably also to follow and manage their diets and lifestyle. All humans, but also vegans, need to recognize that it is not us that can decide what is best for agroforests, forests, and its eventual inhabitants, their soils and the planet, but that it are the forests and agroforests that will tell us what kind of food and materials they can deliver or what is more advantageous for them to deliver, while still or preferentially optimally exerting their rather obvious climate-regulating functions. We just need to read what the forests tell us. This at least for important and large forests, by means of permanent sample plots research, because no person can correctly read the forests without monitoring and regular measurement in permanent sample plots research. In other words the forests that will solve our problems will tell us how much food and material is advantageous for them to deliver while delivering their climate and other benefits, and that includes how much not meat and how much meat is advantageous for them to deliver. We humans would ideally adapt to these for the agroforest optimal foods and products. To make ourselves clear, enriched agroforests are roughly the same as carbon agroforests and ADE agroforest. ADE is a result of ancestral techniques of the Amerindians that focused on creating deep soils that ultimately created or at least defined the Amazon forest. None of these types of agroforests have the moderate to low results of carbon sequestering and influence on climate that tree planting or even all actual agroforests as we see them in the media present. If vegans would recognize ADE agroforests and adapt to what these optimally deliver, they would become a part of the solution and a model for all others. In other words they would start to also solve calamities and the consequential creation of more refugees and its consequential need for more shelters, safe havens for them and all others. Shelters should be safe havens and such safe havens long became rare and go on diminishing, and what we have left is not sufficiently respected nor preserved. Focus only on climate challenges could lead to extinction. Loss and destruction and the consequential number of migrants and refugees are kind of exponential and probably explosive, it will lead up to extinction if we go on seeing IT as just as or mainly as climate challenges and nothing else. Apart from being an exponential process, every loss and destruction will leave the area or case more vulnerable. Floods always lead to loss of topsoils and consequently the humus it contains and next also to loss of productivity and suitability for any kind of culture. The same is the case for deforestation and fires. Topsoil will not recover naturally in the short and medium term. With less topsoil any land will be more vulnerable next time, extreme, for the same and other calamities and losses. Unlike the Amazon forest, RS is no primary climate driving region or environment, and the size of the disaster area is insignificant to the size of the Amazon forest and region. The area of RS Brazil is 30 times more than Belgium, which is roughly 1,000 times less than the Amazon region. There is no planet B to refuge to. The wars and epidemics already going on will hasten and aggravate all forms of calamities, with the collapse of the Amazon forest as a neglected chronic and a marking centerpiece. Divide blame others and create refugees or become refugees. In former wars there were no directional missiles and certainly no hypersonic ones, and the power of the bombs was insignificant compared to those of today. The most powerful and heavy bombs were delivered by slow planes that would not get away in the case of larger bombs. In comparison to the actual number and power of missiles and bombs, the Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombs are marginal, and the urbanization there was marginal to be able to cause a nuclear winter let alone a long-term global winter. A need exists for shelter for young people victims of the man-made degeneration and invasion of the Amazon forest and the poisoning of the Amazon Amerindians in Brazil, French Guiana, Suriname, etc. Need for a safe shelter and destination. It makes not much sense or could turn out to be destructive, to offer a refuge that is not safe and prepared, but instead prone to some kind of disaster, which we know is increasing, so the shelter must be a well-prepared safe destination. The shelter must also offer quality of life, and if possible, job opportunities, etc. This is video one of a series of videos. PDB is being perceived as a paradisiacal destination and place with clear potential for quality of life and health. A unique destination and a unique opportunity. Please enjoy our videos and discover this paradise. Don't hesitate to get in touch. You can find the contacts and location in the description of this video and of the related videos. Engineer Johannes and Team, PDB Destination, RN Brazil. Please like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Please also click for playlists and related videos. 
Thank you very much for watching and sharing our videos with others.